sonte në emisionin ka për ëndrën, do të keni mundësi të ndiqni një intervjist ekskluzive me nën kolonelin e kampit Bunstil, sa është i lidhu rajim e Kosovën, vitet e fëmiris, adolescenca e ti dhe shumë e shumë pytet e tjera, për më shumë e ndjekim intervjistën e përgatitur. Thank you that you admit my invitation for this interview today. As we see, we are now inside of Camp Bonstel, and for me it's a big pleasure to be here. I never was before. Here where is based America, which we love and always going to be grateful. Not only us, young generation, but also our parents and grandparents and everyone who live in Kosovo. It's also an honor for me to talk more about you, sir, your work here, so other people will be able to know such a great man as you. <laughs> I don't know about that, but yes, you're quite welcome. I'm glad we have the opportunity to, uh, to bring you on to Camp On still and, and do the interview and, and talk, about, uh, talk about the youth of Kosovo and catching dreams. So, my first question is, can you tell us more about yourself, Mr. Edinger? So, uh, I grew up in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, so uh, I, I played sports and uh, went to the university uh, and then uh, joined the army and now I'm an army officer and I have a uh, beautiful wife, been married 27 years and two young daughters, one about your age and then one that is in, at the university. My other question is, how was your teenage life? Uh, in which sport were you interested during the years of school? Can you tell us more about I it? I can. Uh, so uh, elementary school and grade school life and high school I played uh, baseball football a little bit of soccer uh, you know uh, that's interesting and then uh, and then uh, ran cross or ran track uh, as well what dreams did you have when you was younger so a couple dreams I wanted to fly jets not helicopters uh, but I wanted to fly jets or I wanted to play in the NFL the National Football League, uh, uh, the, the big guys, <laughs> or the big guys play. What was your greatest strength as a child? Uh, I was a very active child. My mom was always telling me to <laughs> sit down and be quiet, but uh, very active. But early on, I understood the concept of setting goals. Uh, I was a little bit smaller than some of the other uh, uh, friends I played football with. Uh, so I learned how to set goals and work hard to achieve those goals. What advice have you learned it during the years and wanted to know it earlier? What advice? Uh, to be thankful for the people that are around you, let others help you uh, to achieve your goals, and to, uh, even in times of adversity, keep fighting. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. That's good. That's so good. Can you tell us how did your dreams came true by writing a list or working hard? Can you share your method, sir? Uh, so my methods were very similar to what you, you said. Uh, having the dream first and then writing the, down the goals to achieve that dream and then working hard every single day. Uh, so sometimes in high school I would put up my, my goals on the mirror. Uh, so every morning when I was brushing my teeth, uh, I would look at the mirror and, and, and I could see my goals and uh, every day I knew I had to keep working hard to achieve those goals. What are the things you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? My free time? Yeah. Uh, I like to uh, uh, chop wood, make firewood for the winter. Uh, I exercise quite a bit and then uh, I hang out. Uh, my wife and my daughters enjoy traveling. So we travel both in the United States and in Europe. My other question sir is do you remember the moment when you decided to join the army can you tell us more about it uh, that's a uh, that's a great great question uh, I knew at a very early age that I would be part of the military my grandfather was in the US Navy during World War II my uh, uncle was in the US Marine Corps and then my dad was also in the US Marine Corps so initially I went into the US Marine Corps and I knew right out of high school that I was going to join the, uh, join the Marine Corps. And then after my time in the Marine Corps, I, I really wanted to, to be an officer in the Army. So uh, from a very early age, I knew that I would 
following my... You just knew it. I just knew it. And yes. you just did it. My other question is, what would you say to someone who wants to join the army now? Nowadays? Nowadays? Yes. Uh, you have to do the same thing that everyone does. You have to be mentally fit, so you have to pass some, some mental tests. Uh, you have to be physically fit, uh, and you, uh, you have to understand that there, there are rules, and you have to be disciplined. And uh, that's, that's what it takes to be in the, the Army. Whether it's the U.S. Army or any Army, those are still some characters, characteristics and some qualities every person in the, in the military needs to have. We all know that uh, during the uh, fights, not only the fights, but during the training in the Army, there can be dangerous situation. So have you suffered a serious injury? Well, at my age, I, I wake up in the morning and have an injury. So, uh, but uh, yeah, I've had a few injuries during, uh, during my uh, career in the Army. Knee pain, uh, back pain, elbow pain. The guys who really have injuries are those guys that jump out of airplanes and helicopters and, and things like that. But yes, they're, they're always, uh, but uh, you're in great shape. Most of our, uh, our, our soldiers are in, in, in great shape and so they, uh, they bounce back very quickly. What are the golden rules in military? I know that there are rules. There are lots of rules in the military. Uh, so obviously wearing a uniform and keeping your hair haircut and, your, and uh, basically doing what you're asked to do or being what you're told to do so that if there is a situation where you have to fight, you, you don't question authority, you do what you're told. And then that's the basis for you know, what we do. Uh, we never want to go to, uh, into a fight, but we're pr always preparing uh, to do that in case our country calls. Yes. We will move to Kosovo. How much are you connected to Kosovo? Uh, well, I've been to, uh, I've been to many places in Kosovo. Uh, Jelan, down the road, and, and, and Ferizaj, what a great, uh, great town Ferizaj is. Uh, I've been to Pristina, been to Prizren, I've uh, been to a few other places. and. Uh, uh, most of my connections to, uh, to Kosovo, I've uh, also been to uh, Zvechen, Leposavic, Oblich, uh, those places. Most of those were connected to CIMIC donations uh, that the U.S. Embassy and K4 RC East have been associated with. So we've uh, donated computers to some local schools. Uh, we've donated some equipment to local uh, fire, uh, firehouses. Uh, so uh, it's been a great opportunity to see, see many parts in Kosovo. Uh, you have been near the youth activities here in Kosovo, and what can you add about it? Well, I said I, the last week, the K4 week, and then when uh, Farajai celebrated their 150 year anniversary, I was there and walked into a classroom full of 40 kindergarten kids, very, you know, five, six, seven year olds. Yes. They were the most beautiful kids I've ever seen. They were all in their, their Sunday dress, as we call it. They were in, uh, in, in bow ties and in dresses. In fact, I think you emceed their, uh, their dancing. Yes. Uh, what a great, uh, a great opportunity to just see the, the smiles on their face, their enthusiasm, and see their parents taking pictures of them. And so they are a great representative of the, the children of, of Kosovo. So my other question is, do you feel the love that people here in Kosovo have for America? Yes, you just walk down the street in, uh, in Farajai and you feel uh, you very feel very welcomed, and people are always, especially the young younger crowd. I've met a lot of teenage boys that have come up and talk to us, and our LMTs, our other soldiers in the in the cities, and uh, it's a great uh, it's a great feeling because they really appreciate uh, why we're here uh, and and what we do here. My other question is, if you choose to write a book, what would the title be? <laughs> That's a very good question, very hard question. Can I think about that and come back to you? Of course. <laughs> okay, all right, let me think about it. Hmm. Well, you said yours would be what? A fighter. fighter. So I'll just say, let's just say warrior, because you have to be a, a warrior in, in lots of difference. You can be a warrior for your family. You can be a warrior in your faith. And you can be a, 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 a real life warrior wearing a uniform, whether it's an army uniform or, or uh, you know, uh, 
being a, a doctor's uniform or a teacher's uniform or any anything. So as long as you keep uh, working and trying to uh, uh, catch those dreams that you talked about earlier, uh, you can be a warrior in all of those. That's so good. So. My other question is, how much do you miss the family when you are far from them? I, I miss them very much. Uh, you know, fortunately today, in this, uh, in this day and age, technology gives us a chance to talk almost every day. And so that's a great opportunity. I recall uh, when we didn't have that technology and I had to write letters home and my, my family would write letters to me and it would take six to eight weeks and no phone calls, no cell phones, uh, nothing. So uh, it, this is, uh, it, it's very comforting to have, be able to reach out to your family when you need to. Which are the seconds that changed completely your life, sir? So the question was, is there moments and times that changed your life, right? Okay. Well, there was a moment in high school where a teacher pulled me to the side and told me, the world does not revolve around you. And I have used that on a couple of occasions with my younger brother <laughs> and other people because at certain times I was being selfish and only concerned about my goals and how I got there and so to an extent even though I still had goals I wasn't treating people uh, the way they should be treated or letting the letting them help me achieve my goals uh, and so I learned very quickly that the world does not revolve around me and so that's wonderful <laughs> we can say what are you most thankful in life sir well, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for my faith, I'm thankful for my, my family, uh, my, my, my wife of 27 years and my two beautiful daughters and our extended family. I'm, I'm thankful for the friends I've made here, both in, in Kosovo and with the, uh, the people that I work with. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm, a, I'm very blessed in what I have. And uh, what I have is, is, is friendships and relationships and that's very important to me. So, I want a message to all the young generation that are following us today. A message that can help them to improve their goals or to take them. To catch their dreams. Catch their dreams. Some simple advice uh, is, you know, is, is treat other people the way you want to be treated. It's very, very simple, uh, and and then obviously, as we talked before, setting goals, uh, writing those goals down, and then doing all the little steps it takes to achieve those goals. And if you fail, you fail. You go back and you reevaluate, and then you start again, or you 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 look at options that you have. And so it's you're not always defined to just doing one thing. You can have many different goals. Uh, but to, to focus on those and, 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 and set those goals out on, on a piece of paper and work every single day to get there and let others help you try to achieve those goals. So I want to thank you for the chance for this interview. I appreciate it a lot. And uh, maybe when years will come, I will always look this interview again, again, and again. Well, thank I, you very much. I, I appreciate value, it. I value this opportunity as well, and thank you for asking me. Thank you very much.
ishte kjo e të rraq, kemi përgaditur për të hënën e sotme, por ishte kjo e të rraq, kemi përgaditur dhe për fundin e sezonit të dytë. Bashmiru pafshim në sezonet e ardhshme.